Welcome to Perfect Garden and I am going to tell you about 9 signs of lung cancer. First of all is no warning. Lung cancer may not produce any noticeable symptoms in the early stages. In approximately 40 years of people diagnosed with lung cancer, the diagnosis is made after the disease has advanced. In one third of those diagnosed, the cancer has reached stage 3. Now I will tell you about the lung cancer symptoms. The first thing is that cough that won't quit. Be on alert for a new cough that lingers. While a cough associated with a cold or respiratory infection will go away in a week or two, a persistent cough that lingers can be a possible sign of lung cancer. Don't be tempted to dismiss a stubborn cough, whether it is dry or mucus producing, as just a cough. See your doctor right away. He or she will listen to your lungs and may order an X-ray or other test. No change in a cough. Pay attention to any changes in a chronic cough, particularly if you are a smoker. If you are coughing more often, your cough has a deeper or hoarse sound, or you are coughing up blood or more mucus than usual. It's time to make a doctor's appointment. If a family member or friend experiences these changes, suggest that they visit the doctor. Now breathing changes, shortness of breath or becoming easily winded are also possible symptoms of lung cancer. These symptoms can occur if lung cancer blocks or narrows an airway, or if fluid from a lung tumor builds up in the chest. Make a point of noticing when you feel winded or short of breath. If this symptom occurs after climbing the stairs to your house, bringing in groceries or performing another task you could previously do without finding it hard to breathe, don't ignore it. Now pain in the chest area. Lung cancer may produce pain in the chest, shoulder or back area. Now this paining feeling may not be associated with coughing. Tell your doctor if you notice any type of chest pain, whether it is sharp, dull, constant or comes and goes. You should also note whether it is confirmed to a specific area or is occurring throughout your chest. When lung cancer causes chest pain, the discomfort may result from enlarged limb nodes or metastasis on the chest wall, pleura or on the ribs. Now wheezing, when airways become constricted, blocked or inflamed, the lungs produce a wheezing or whistling sound when you breathe. Wheezing can be associated with multiple causes, some of which are tension and easily treatable. However, wheezing is also a lung cancer symptom, which is why it merits your doctor's attention. If wheezing continues, don't assume it as asthma or allergies. Have your doctor confirm what's causing it. Now, raspy, hoarse voice. If you hear a significant change in your voice, or if someone else points out that your voice sounds deeper, hoarse, or raspier, get checked out by your doctor. Hoarseness can be caused by a simple cold, but this symptom becomes worrisome when it hangs on for more than two weeks. Hoarseness related to lung cancer can occur when the tumor affects the nerve that controls the lens or voice box. Now drop in weight. An unexplained weight loss of 10 pounds or more may be associated with lung cancer or another type of cancer. When cancer is present, this weight drop may result from cancer cells using energy in the body. It could also result from the shifts in the way the body uses food energy. Don't write off a change in your weight if you haven't been trying to set pounds. It may be to you to change in your health. Now you can have bone pain. Lung cancer that is spread to the bones may produce pain in the back or in the other areas of the body. This 
pain may worsen in the night while resting on the back. Additionally, lung cancer is sometimes associated with shoulder, arm or neck pain, although this is less common. Be attentive to itches and pains and discuss them with your doctor. Now you can have headache. Headache may be a sign that lung cancer has spread to the brain. However, not all headaches in people with lung cancer are associated with brain metastasis. Sometimes a lung tumor may create pressure on the superior vena cava, which is a large vein that moves blood from the upper body to the heart. This pressure can also trigger headaches. Now easy screening may help. Chest x-rays are not effective in detecting early stage lung cancer. However, low dose computed tomography, that is CT scan, have also shown to reduce lung cancer mortality by 20%. According to a 2011 study, in this study, 53,454 people at high risk for lung cancer were randomly assigned either a low dose CT scan or an X-ray. The low dose CT scan detected more lung cancer. There are also significantly fewer deaths from the disease in the low dose CT group. Now aimed at high risk patients. The study promoted the US Preventive Services Task Force to issue a draft recommendation that people at high risk for lung cancer receive a low dose CT screening. The recommendation applying only to people who have a 30 pack year or more history of smoking are ages between 55 to 70 have smoked within the last past 15 years talk to your doctor whether low dose CT screening is appropriate for you so now please subscribe to my channel perfect guardian and give your comment thank you